Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gents. Let's get into it. Happy New Year 2021. It is time for a new video. Let's crank that music down. Welcome aboard. If this is your first time with us, I need to make sure you smash that like button. Of course, hit that subscribe and notify, all that good stuff. And tonight, I am going to solve a huge problem for anybody who has ever tried to arrange their charts. And some of us have more charts than others, if you know what I'm saying. If you've got a lot of screens or, you know what, even if you only have like two or three screens, when you are trying to move those charts around, you know, if you, you've got six or seven charts per instrument and you want to get them lined up perfectly, if you got a little OCD, a little bit like me, where you're trying to line everything up perfectly, tonight I've got an awesome solution. I hope you guys are going to enjoy what we've got here tonight. Let's get into it. We're going to arrange all those charts very, very quickly, and I'm going to show you how. Let's do this. Alrighty then, let's come on down here to our training window. Now, you guys might have seen several different configurations that I've had. Again, I, I play around with things to make sure I've got everything to the absolute ideal. I have tried all kinds of setups. I've spent a lot of time in market replay and, of course, a lot of time in live. I've been doing this 15 years, and NinjaTrader 8 is a little bit... Uh, new, you know, had a lot of stuff set up for an NT7. We've also now got 4K screens. Some people got the in between, the 2560s, and all that in between. So uh, there are lots of configurations. You know, however you end up getting your resolution, whatever resolution monitors you get, you're going to need to arrange your charts. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you to do is get an app called Max2. Let me show you guys what that is. Okay, go out there and download Max2 for Windows. This has been a major, major game changer in terms of being able to arrange charts quickly and easily and maintain the formats that you have for all those charts, okay? So scrolling down here, you can you know check out how they've got everything, but I'm gonna show you how I do mine. Once I've got Max 2 installed and configured, we'll go through a few of the settings here tonight that I use, and then I'll give you guys access to, you know, kind of my layout. I don't wanna say access, it's the wrong word there, but I'm gonna show you guys my layout and all that kind of good stuff. So first thing I'm gonna do, you might've noticed, you know, I've got different sized charts. Now at one point I had kind of everything symmetrical uh, from top to bottom. We had, you know, thirds divided out here and we had, you know, charts. I've had them like this. I've had them in quads. I've had them, you know, all different types of configurations. Used to have an old app in Windows 7 um, that was quite easy. It was that wind split revolution that you could just punch a couple keys. And I've always missed being able to have that where I could just select the window and just literally two keys and then bam, it would resize it and put it where I wanted to. If it was over here, I had one spot right here. And you could just use the number pad, you know, because look at your number pad, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. You guys know how that goes, right? Um, I probably did that wrong, but you know. So let's uh, let's get it configured. So I've got a little bit of an adjustment, which is really cool. Um, these are not symmetrical. I really like to see a lot of extra space on my lowest time frame, so that I can kind of get some, you know, better better setup layout. Sometimes I want to maximize this and see what I've got going on. If I want to make sure that I've got a level that I'm looking at, all that kind of good stuff. So I kind of keep it in this configuration. But what happens when all of a sudden, you know, I don't know, you might you might goof it up or you know, you mess it up, you stick it way over here like this. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just press one button? What, you mean like this? Bingo! Bang, right back to its original position. Any one of these can be moved like that. So let's say that this one gets uh, gets one, gets out of whack. I click on this one. Uh-oh, it got, it moved over. Notice it's going to each individual position. That is so cool. So now you have this grid layout on your desktop so that each one of these can go into its spot. So here I've got, um, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven instruments, um, seven charts per instrument right now. So let's configure that just like this. I'm gonna go into the Max 2. I've got it already installed and running. I'm gonna right click and go to Change Regions. So if it's down in your uh, menu already, just right click, Change Regions, boom. Now I'm not gonna go to see the video right now, but hopefully you guys can see this layout. Here is how we have everything configured. I don't know if I can, can I draw on this. No, it's not gonna let me draw on it. Okay. So up here in the top right, if I want to adjust this, I can literally just click any one of these lines and move it up or down. And then I can save any one of these. Pretty self-explanatory. You know, I can I can goof these all around. I can add, like let's say I want to add another split here. I can click this little button right here. Let's me split this section, this section if I want to split it out. 
you kind of see how this goes. I can do verticals, I can do horizontals. You can do all kinds of really cool layouts. And again, I'm not saying you have to set up any specific way. In fact, if you guys find a better way, you know, this is what our crew is about. If you find an awesome layout that you like, you know, share it with the crew. It's like, hey, you know, I really like this because lets me see this and this. You know, that that's great for our crew. Set it all out now. If you want to save these, well, obviously I don't want to keep this because now I've just totally you know, messed up my setup, right? But I've already got these presets up here in the top right hand corner. I'm gonna go to my presets. I'm gonna load a preset. These are my current ones. I've got, you know, obviously here's the my old six layout here. Here's my nines. Again, I tried all of these. Um, again, just to kind of see how I wanted to play around with things until I got it. But once you've got exactly how you want your charts to be laid out, this app is awesome because you can just basically click in here, set that configuration. Again, it's a little more complex because this is not symmetrical, but I really like this layout and I can get right back to it. And I can apply this to all of my screens because that's the other trick is, okay, well, you know, let's say that you get it all laid out perfectly on one. Now you want to duplicate that to all your other screens. This Max 2 makes it so easy because now I can go up here and go to any screen. Um, I can't show you guys my other ones for some reason. Uh, my OBS is still a little bit limited. It can only show four screens, but um, up here in the top left, I'll literally just go preset, load, like you just did there, load, I'm just gonna select ES2, boom, brings everything back, and I'll do that on each of my six grid right here. If I wanna do it on my far left too, we can do that there as well. And then that this is where the magic happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on use regions, that will save all of that, boom, okay? Now if I, oh, I forgot to, to show in there, in those regions, how to create one. Um, let's go back to that real quick. If you want to save yours afterwards, this is kind of important. Change regions. Okay, so let's say that you get all yours arranged. You need to save it first. So presets, save as preset. And then so I can now make another one. I'm going to call this one ES3. Save my preset. And of course, now in my presets, there it is. Now I've got my third one there. So you know, pretty self-explanatory, but you know, wanted to, to show all that. So use regions. Boom. There we go. All right. So now how does this work? So now, as you've got your charts, when uh, when our default installation comes out, it um, it looks like, let's see if I can do this without jacking up everything. So workspace, I'm gonna go back to our standard 1080p out of the box, Algo box. Pick up our ATM cover scenes here real quick. There we go. Okay. So this is how you know Algobox comes out the box with your control center right here. Um, but once I want to get more complex, let's say that I want to create a, a new chart, or I want to configure this into my layout, I can literally just click on this chart, select it. Now I'm gonna hit the Windows key and the right button or you know any of the arrow keys. So I'm gonna move it around and I can move it around in circles. I can move it up, down, left. You see how it's flipping through each of the spaces right here? so so cool so i can put it right down over here to the proper location where i want it this one if i want it up in my right hand spot like this my mac v i want that right about there and of course i've added some extra charts so i'll show you guys how i do that boom boom there we go now so i want to get my let's say i want to get my candy bar eights i'm just going to down here i'm going to right click the tab and duplicate chart okay so on this little tab, right click, you guys see this? Duplicate in new window, okay? Not in a new tab, on this case, I wanna do a new window. So right click, duplicate, new window, boom. Now I've got my new chart, I change it to the eights, data series, I'm gonna change it over to the eights. Click on okay, boom, it's gone to eight, but now I need to size it. Right now, this would be this tedious task, usually to put that in, but not anymore. Now I'm literally just gonna go, Boom, and it's done. Look at that, right into the right spot. So let's add one more. Um, I'm gonna get my, I've got my fives. Let's uh, let's add the fives. So put my eights back down here, all the way to the bottom. Okay, I want my fives right there. Again, one more time. Duplicate in new window. Boom, got it. Windows key and left. Again, I'm holding these at the same time. Bam, there it is. Isn't that beautiful? That is awesome so i want to make a quick video here this is the first one back in 2021 you know knocking the knocking the dust off here want to kind of get back into things and as far as moving these into other charts uh, if you want to duplicate these and change it to like say the nasdaq easy no problem duplicate in new window right top right up here want to make sure that you change your color linking 
Okay, because remember right now, purple is for all the ES. So NQ, for instance, I'm gonna have that for blue. Blue for NQ, you know, I kinda try to do things that I can remember to the name them. So I'm click on blue. Now for me, I've already got NASDAQ already selected, but if you didn't have that, you just right click, go to instrument list and select your instrument. And of course, if it's not in your instrument list already, you can click on here on search and select the proper contract month for the NASDAQ and then save it under the proper coloring like we do here. If you guys wanna know all of our colorings, hit us up over there in the Discord chat and I will give you all the color settings that I have. Now, if I wanna put this up into you know, my window up here, so you guys can, uh, can see this, right? So obviously I wanna put my NQ up here in this window. Now, watch how easy this is because I can move those right up there. Press escape, so this one's, I just wanna put it up there. Windows up, up, and all of a sudden you notice that now my chart is showing up right where I want it. If I wanna move it around up there, I can pop it up there, pop it up there, pop it up there. Now it's way up here in the top left corner, move it down. Notice how it's flipping through each space. So again, very, very easy to now lay out all of your charts very, very quickly, which in the past would have been a real pain in the tail. If you've ever tried to go and you know micro move each one of those little things and you never quite get it right and then as soon about the time that you do what happens you know your system maybe crashes or something happens windows you, you move a monitor around and now you have to do it all over again max 2 is an amazing solution and i am absolutely loving it um thanks for hanging out folks if um you want to hang here for a few more minutes i'm going to show you guys some results here from today the room absolutely smashed it so proud of you guys this is the First day back in um, 2021. Let's look at some of the results you guys are posting up. If you guys have not been around our room in a while, you want to come back. And again, all the new tools, the audio room is completely OP. If you have not listened into the Flowmaster audio box, you are really, really missing out. Um, here is Superman here today. Four trades. He hadn't even hit his fifth trade yet up 700 let's look at the profit factor numbers here 6.6 .6 profit factor that is a beauty 88 percent profitable holy shnikes that means his winners are 6.6 .6 times the size of his losers uh, i'm not going to brag on myself i think that's still a little bit hey you know what i'd rather show off the crew here's mike throwing down 1k awesome work uh john manigal is still a little bit new with this throwing down 600 bucks let's look at the stats here for rick what do we got? We got profit factor. Oh my word. That is insane. 12.2 at 87% profitable. 12.2 folks. That means his winners were 12.2 times the size of his losers. 87% profitable. I mean, come on. I'm pretty sure at that point he's actually trading micros. So imagine E-minis. Um, that's going to be 4,800. Same thing here with JC throwing down 500, 585. Excellent work. First part of the day. I know Adam Smasher hit way more than this today um, i saw his end of day but 4k on the day awesome work uh profit factor 3.25 awesome 3.25 times the size of his losers 82 percent profitable for adam scroll down tommy p appreciate you guys who are posting your screenshots of your setups as well when you do that remember that there's a lot of training you're trying to training yourself at the same time where you're doing that look at this profit factor 2.23 winners are 2.23 times the size of his losers 69 percent profitable 36 trades Amazing for 2k there for sting ox excellent work Who we got here Curtis G. I think threw down hundred percent today. Holy shnikey 17 trades hundred percent profitable hitting that 4k Target like a boss first day of 2021 <laughs> There's Adam smasher at the end of day there. Holy cow 15k profit factor 2.38 winners more than two times the size of his losers 38% profitable. A lot of people try to focus way too much on that. That's absolutely silly. When you are keeping a profit factor like this, that percent, when people are always like, oh, what's your percent win rate? I've always told people like, that is not everything, folks. And on the short side trade, look at this. Huge, 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 huge. Excellent work there for Adam. Remote 1700. I'm going to run through these real quick to close this thing out. I think he closed out 2683. Beat a little bit new with us, and that's a nice uh, PRZ cross king timing. Be careful on this one. I can just look at this here. Hmm. Not sure how that one worked out. So this one, these are these are tricky. How do I explain this? Um, what's the Mac V? I can't see your Mac V, but I imagine your Mac V could have probably held you out on this. Um, this thing is pushing up pretty good on those. I tend to kind of let these go. It's a nice spot. I get it. You got king timing. 
you got the PRZ Cross. It's not a bad trade, but those can tend to kind of get that little oomph, and I like to kind of try to get those on a secondary move. So I'm gonna use a screenshot later in a video and we'll talk about some of the trickier plays. This is a PRZ cross, but with a PRZ cross advanced, and we'll talk about how on this one, particularly because we've got a dynamo leg going on here. What's the dynamo leg? Well, we've got these steady crosses, big white crosses. This is like, you almost wanna treat this, treat this entire area all like one, one piece. So we'll come back on that one. Double Cross Mac V Audio Box plus Box Sellers. Excellent work there, Mike. And man, Rick just putting away more numbers. How did Nick do there? 777. Wow. Lucky $777. 75% profitable. Profit factor 5.8. Are you are you joking me? 5.8. Winners almost six times the size of your losers. Smashing it. KC, if you guys haven't seen our Video with KC interview, $3,800 in his live account. Excellent work. Oh my goodness. Oh, Nick, did you put some more on the boards? Nick didn't even quit at 777. He's at 1253, 78% profitable, profit factor seven point. You know what? I I mean you got I'm gonna start letting you guys teach class. Excellent, excellent work, folks. All right, folks, you guys absolutely smashed it today. Let's get to it. It is 2021. We got some really neat and exciting things. I'm going to do another video either tomorrow or Wednesday on kind of what's coming up in 2021. Everything from streaming, uh, hopefully, if I can get the other two monitors to get up, that would be fantastic. We're going to talk about setups. We're going to be talking about all kinds of cool setups. On the 15th, we will be putting out the latest version of everything, a couple more performance tweaks, couple more changes, pulling out a couple of the legacy items that are still kind of remaining there that will give you a little bit of a performance hit, some adjustments to the opacity levels, and for platinum members, oh man, are you ready? We've got full auto headshots completed, running them through in beta on my own right now, and we have got the conversion of the platinum tools along with a few other goodies. So. Look out for that around January the 15th, and we will be putting that out there. If you guys have suggestions for us, if you guys wanna see more of stuff, less of stuff, put that over there in the Ask Me Any Questions section on the left-hand side of our Discord chat. Again, if you have not joined us in Discord, again, it's free, and there's a two-week free trial to learn how we do what we do. Approaching the markets like a video game, in, you're out, one and done. Actually, it's not one and done, it's more like five and done. Five trades a session, Morning, afternoon, maybe an evening. All right, have I covered everything? I think I have. A little bit rusty, trying to get back into creating some videos and things. So this week I'll try to kind of get back on the microphone. What has it been like, three or four weeks? Uh, Christmas holiday, hope you guys had a fantastic one with the family, all that good stuff. 2020, blessings on each and every one of you guys. There's gonna be a new message video coming up here in January as well. Looking forward to putting some of that out. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. Listen out, Big H Town. See ya.